Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a RISC V soft core CPU in general FPGA. This is part two of the soft core CPU series. In last video, we built a Xilinx in-house soft CPU, the micro braids. Micro braids is also a RISC CPU. It means reduced instruction set computer. It's optimized for implementing in Xilinx FPGA. As you can see in the last video, the microbraids IP and workflow is highly integrated into Xilinx, Bavado, and Vitex software. In this video, we will use Bruce Bat's RISC-V IP for Xilinx. You can download the Bruce Bat evaluation package and tool chain from the website. The Bruce Bat package is designed to be used in the Avnet RTX7 board. In this demo, we will build the RISC-V CPU into our KC705, the KingTech 7 evaluation board. I will show you how to change the script to create the project in KC705. I will also show you how to install and execute Bruce Bat's compilation tool in the Linux machine. Now let's create the project. I have already downloaded the Bruce Bat package into my local machine. Let's exercise what's in the package. The Bruce Bat evaluation package assumes you have everything in the Linux machine, including the Vivado. So there are multiple batch files, environmental streams, setup files, tickle scripts, etc. to create the demo. It's very flexible. You can change your project name, directory, etc. But I found this is a bit complicated to understand. Also, I'm using Vivado in Windows, so I'm not gonna run those bash commands. As you can see, the whole demo starts from the create SOC project bash. You can input your project name, your IP's name, which is fixed in the demo, and then call up the SOC tickle. The SOC tickle set some other project parameters and then call out another tickle to build the block diagram. In this tickle script, they exercise the project settings and then check the IPs, then start the main routine, which is bring up some ports, create ports, create IPs with specific properties, and then create LEDs to interconnect those IPs. After the project is built and create the binary for the software, and then build your bitstream, copy the binary memory to a specific location. In this demo, it has to be placed in the root TMP folder, and then call out the build tickle script. The tickle script then going to build the bitstream. So I combine several things into a single tickle script. Well, actually two scripts. One to create the project and one to build the final bitstream like the uh, demo settings. Well, you can definitely do it in one single step if you understand the whole workflow. You first compile the software part before you build the bitstream. In my tickle script, I set the project IPs, directory, etc. all as a fixed string. You can change that here. You don't need to input in the batch command. Then I check the IPs for the KC705 and start building the project. I create the ports for the KC705 board. That's specific for KC705, the clock, the push button, LEDs, and the UART. They're all defined in the KC705 board file. I create the reset, and then the IPs I use one clock wizard IP, one processor system reset IP, some other fixed logics. The Bruce Bat RISC-V CPU core, 
and the ASIC interconnection and the ASIC GPIO and the ASIC UR just like we did the micro braids demo before. And then I create the connections to connect all those IPs. Finally, I generate the layout, make the wrapper to the top file, and then build the IPs. I also copy the tickle script for the next step. And the KC705 configuration is just like what we used before. So I'm going to load the Perl flash in the KC705 board and put from there. Now let's build the project. I put my hardware build script and the KC705 configuration file in the directory where we place the RISC file evaluation package. Because it's the tickle script running the whole project, so everything is automatic. Now the project is created. As you can see, it's very much like what we have done before for the micro braids, except replacing the micro braids with the Bruce Bat processor. That's the micro braids project. So the clock wizard clocking the micro braids controls the ASIC GPIO and the UART. Here is pretty much the same. Now we are going to install and execute the two chain in the Linux machine and create the binary of the software part. Now in the Linux machine, we also go into the BlueSpat web page and download the two chain and also the package because the package includes some sample LED blinking C file to exercise the RISC V CPU. The two chain installation, you can follow the manual. Basically, you just apt install the package and also make the environmental variables. So I also create a batch file to include all the steps to create the environmental variables and go into the folder of the installation. Basically, I set the MCU install, MCU work, directory and the path for the two chain. Now it sets all the necessary environment. I create this text app folder and copy all the demo Brinky LED software files here. The only change is in the main C, where the original one, after running the main, it just returned to nowhere. I add this uh, that loop here to make the CPU within this domain. The reason is that when it's returned, the next run, the print F cannot print anything for some reason. So if I maintain the dead loop here in the microcontroller, the printf will always print something if I hit the reset button. So within this software directory, clean the existing one, make everything, which generates a TCM memory file. Now we can put this TCM memory file back to the Windows Vivado, and then we build the bitstream there. Now the software binary is generated and placed back in the Windows machine. 
we can continue to build our bitstream from here. Now the bitstream and the memory loading files are all generated. We can go back to the Linux machine to text that. Now the bitstream is built. We copy the text memory configuration file into the text machine. Now let's program the KC705. We can then power down, power up to reload the machine. We can also turn on the UR. Now it runs. So that's all for the RISC-V demo. Hope you liked the video. See you next time.